Lately, I've been talking a lot about strength training. And the reason for that is really, well, it's really two reasons. One is that strength training is something that we uh, tend to overlook. Um, we get, kind of get into our usual exercise routine, doing the same thing all the time, putting in the time, and we forget to do things that uh, do strength training with different parts of our body. Uh, the other reason that I think we overlook that, overlook it is because with Parkinson's disease, uh, if you've read some of the things that I've been posting recently, you see that it's, they believe it's very important for you to do vigor, regular vigorous exercise to, um, to delay the progression. Uh, but it's also important to do strength training because strength training is something that can help your symptoms. And today what I'm going to talk about is a couple areas that I think get, often get overlooked and that is your forearms, your wrists, and your hands. Um, people that have uh, the typical Parkinson's, Parkinson's tremors, uh, that tends to be the part of the body that's shaking. And that is an area that we don't spend enough time really uh, exercising uh, when we do um, our typical routine. So today what I wanna do is show you some of the different, uh, some different exercises that really focus on forearm strength, uh, wrist extensions, and uh, grip strength. So this is a, uh, a flex bar basically just a, a simple piece of uh, resistance exercise equipment and I like the flex bar because it's a great way to get a get a workout for your forearms so basically the idea of the flex bar is you just put it in different positions and you can use this to strengthen your forearms when I do it I like to do it in all four different uh, directions here we're going down with the flex bar So like to take it in this direction. I like to stretch it out like this. And I also like to try to bring it toward me. And each time you're working the flex bar in a different direction, you're working your forearm muscles a little bit differently. Uh, the flex bars come in different uh, different weight resistances. Um, this one's a little bit lighter. The, the blue bar, a little bit heavier. So essentially, you can graduate up to uh, to a heavier flex bar as time goes on. Another thing that's uh, also good to do with the flex bar useful is just uh, practice some of your hand and hand eye coordination and your uh, and and your grip just tossing the flex flex bar seems like a silly little exercise but it's something that's good for your hand eye coordination and it's good for your grip um, really everything with the, the flex bar is good for grip and speaking of grip Another important tool that I think uh, everybody should, uh, everybody with Parkinson should have is a grip, grip strengthening tool. Grip strengthening tools are very simple pieces of equipment, but uh, you know, all you're basically doing with them is squeezing your hand back and forth, working your grip. Um, I've noticed that on my Parkinson side, which is this one, my right side here, it's a lot more difficult for me than on the left side which does the exercise very easily. Um, there have definitely actually been some studies uh, that have looked at grip strength as being one of the things that is characteristic of representing the, your, your progression, your decline, the severity of the Parkinson's disease. There was a study out a couple of years ago that uh, looked specifically at grip strength um, and they had the neurologist test the patients on grip strength in, in a and and all the other typical tests and what they found was that uh, grip strength alone was a pretty good indication of the of the severity of the Parkinson's disease people with more advanced stages of Parkinson's disease have a bigger problem with grip so I'm not saying that by by exercising your grip that it's going to slow down Parkinson's but I, what I'm saying is that as your Parkinson progresses you're going to have more and more of a problem with grip uh, things you know Things like uh, when you're opening up uh, a jar, uh, you're going to have a lot more trouble with things like that. So grip strength ex exercises, very important. 
very good thing to be uh, very good thing to work on every day and I have to uh, I think my son used this one he, he dialed up the resistance this is a little bit this is a little bit heavier than I usually use I'm, I'm struggling with it a little bit more today all right another thing that is also useful is weights I've just got this I've got this weight here set for a set for just 10 pounds so this is a pretty lightweight but this is a good weight to be used for wrist extensions so you just want to do things that are stretching your wrist in different directions. I like to try to do sets of these. So maybe, you know, maybe a set of 20 up and down, 20 back and forth, and 20 over and back. Uh, you can also use the weights to, uh, to practice your grip as well, kind of do a finger rollouts as part of the process. So these are just some simple ideas for strengthening your forearms, working on your wrists, and working on your grip.